Hello my friends, welcome back. In this episode I will show you how to make a simple emergency exit sign. Are you tired of getting lost inside your house during power outages? What the hell just happened? Well, don't worry, because now you can build your very own emergency exit sign. Now let's build some LED signs. I have this plexiglass or clear acrylic board from an older project. I will use a handsaw and slowly cut two smaller pieces. The edges are very rough, I need to make them smoother with a sandpaper block and a cutter. The plexiglass has a protective film, so I can write on it. I will make an exit sign first. I will cut the outline of the arrow and the letters using a small cutter. Then I will remove them. The rest of the protective film will remain for protection until the end. I need to somehow modify the letters so they will be illuminated by the LEDs. So I will use my cheap and useless rotary tool with this small grinding drill bit. There is no need to go deep, I just need to scratch the surface. I finished grinding, but this is not enough, I need to scratch it even more to make the letters light up. So I will use the cutter again and make a lot of these parallel scratches at an angle. The more scratches I make, the more light they will capture. So I will make some perpendicular scratches as well. Ok, that's enough scratching. So far it looks bad, so what's next? To illuminate the plexiglass panel, I will use these 5mm diffused LEDs. They have a common cathode and three colors, so you can use them for different types of signs. But the LEDs have a round head. I will make them flat with some sandpaper. That's better. For this panel I will use only the green light, so I will cut the two unnecessary pins. But I need those pins. So after searching for them for an hour, I will solder the LEDs in parallel using the remaining pins. The LEDs are ready, I will place them on the top side of the panel. I will put a small drop of super glue on each LED and carefully stick them in position. A small piece of cable raceway will be used to cover the LEDs and mount the sign. I think the easiest way is to fill it with silicone sealant. I will place the panel in position and use some objects to hold it upright until the silicone dries. More silicone needs to be added on both sides. Don't worry about the excess, I will clean it later. While the silicone dries, I need to make a circuit to turn on the LEDs when the power is out. Nothing fancy, a TP4056 module will charge a lithium-ion battery. I don't want the module to heat up while charging a single lithium-ion cell. So I replaced the programmable resistor on the module with a 2.2 kilo ohms resistor. Not because I am recycling this module from an older project, but because I want a lower charge current. I will solder the charging module to a piece of prototype board with the battery holder and the other components. A 5V relay will turn on the LEDs when the mains power is out. The LEDs need a resistor in series or they will burn. A 1 watt and 47 ohm resistor should be enough. But all I have at the moment are these 3 watts and 100 ohm resistors. So I will solder two of them in parallel to get 50 ohms. And the circuit is finished, as I said it's nothing special. Let's add the 18650 lithium cell and test it. When the mains power is interrupted, the LED lights up. And when the power is back, the battery is charging. 
This video is sponsored by my patrons. I want to thank all my patrons for their support. If you want to see these videos a few days earlier and more DIY videos, please check out my Patreon page. The LED panels will be connected to the circuit board with long ass wires. Now I can finally remove the protective film. Hey, that's pretty powerful. I was afraid that 4 LEDs are not enough, but actually they are. You can also add more LEDs if you want to blind the neighbors. If you look closely, you can see that only the scratches are illuminated. And now let's test everything. If a single lithium-ion cell with resistors isn't good enough for you, you can make a bigger battery pack and then you can also add a step-down converter for a better efficiency. I know what you're thinking. Scratching the plexiglass panel is too much work. Can't we just paint the damn thing? Well, my nerdy friends, you're in luck because I have one more plexiglass panel and it's ready for painting, so we can compare them. But what should I write on it? I know. There we go. Please forgive my retarded handwriting. On this panel I added a tiny switch so I can toggle it between green and red. So what do you think? It's better to scratch the plexiglass or to paint it? And another question, what do you prefer, red or green? The sticky foam is useful because you can mount the sign where you need it. What the hell just happened? Thank you for watching and liking my video. If you enjoy it, please share it, leave a comment below and happy holidays!